So who gets asthma? Well, probably the most uh, likely are young people, uh, and they may grow out of their asthma. It often occurs in this setting. The individual child will usually have other allergy symptoms. They are so-called atopic individuals. They may have um, atopic eczema, a skin condition, an itchy rash that typically occurs in the flexures, uh, can occur on the scalp. Uh, and they will often also have allergic rhinitis or hay fever, and that's the child whose nose twitches. They often rub it with an allergic salute. They may have a clear nasal discharge, or the nose may be persistently blocked, and they may be snorers. So asthma will often occur also in a positive family history setting. One of the parents or grandparents or uncles and aunties was an asthmatic or an allergic rhinitis or eczema sufferer. Children often grow out of their asthma. They're less likely to grow out of their, out of their hay fever and even more likely to grow out of their eczema. Now, adults can also get asthma for the first time in their lives, so-called adult onset asthma. When you go into their history, there may never have been a history of asthma as a child. But again, there may be a positive family history of it. They are less likely to have the typical atopic or allergic situation. So you might find that their allergy skin prick testing or blood tests are negative. Nevertheless, they have all the other criteria for asthma and they are called asthmatics. Asthma can also occur in certain industrial settings. Um, and anybody who suspects that they may have become asthmatic since uh, they've taken up a certain job needs to see a doctor who specializes in industrial medicine who may then refer that individual to a pulmonologist because it's a subject all on its own and it involves things like workman's compensation.